Come on, people. The Noob Gamers Disco is going absolutely wild because it's a brand new season, a brand new event tonight, a brand hatch circuit. Let's see what I did there. And welcome, everyone. Jam Splat is here. Race is here. Rob's here. Crichton's here. Everyone's getting lively in the Twitch channel, too. Because tonight we start season 20. That's right. Our 20th season of Project Cars 2 Racing, which quite frankly is too many. But hey, we're here and we're going to get it on once again tonight. Because as ever, there's only one place to be. And that's right goddamn here on New Gamers TV. And as ever, I cannot do this alone. I need, I crave someone by my side tonight to take us through every single little bit of this circuit every car track combo every track back everything you could want to shake your sticks at jamie where the hell are you oh i mean i'm i'm literally right here i don't actually ever go anywhere else i just yeah, sort of sit here and wait for you to uh, to call me in on the thursday at 8 p.m it's pretty quiet the rest of the week to be <laughs> yeah but uh you know i don't want to miss it i don't want to miss it hello friend all right yeah very good um i mean combative mass is blaming uh, How we, did you pass we're, we're swearing we're swearing early uh, but i didn't think i did i don't think i did anyway jamie how are you and welcome to tonight thanks i'm absolutely fantastic yeah super excited 
um, to be fair, for this, <laughs> because, you know, the lobby's full again, the, it, you know, the discal's buzzing. We've had some, you know, we had a little foray into some unusual cards. It was great fun. A brilliant season, actually. But we're back to a classic now, Ryan, and I, I can't help but feel, you know, the excitement and anticipation. Not just that, not just that, Ryan, but finally, we've got some bloody crazy weather to have a, oh. have a look at again. Oh. Come Tonight, on. we've got rain. Other nights, we've got snow. We've got touring cars. We've got classic Noob Gamers Project Cars 2 tracks for the next four weeks of our touring car season 20, our 20th ever Project Cars 2 League. And this one could be the best ever, Jamie. What do you say to that? Oh, bloody hell, I mean. Not a, not a huge prediction, I guess, because technically anything could happen. So, yeah, I mean, it, it could easily be the best one ever. Who's going to win it? Go, now. I mean, there's only no, one way to find out, ladies and gentlemen. That's by sticking no. right god oh. here on Noob Gamers TV. And we're going to go down to the track very, very shortly. And we're going to go and have a look through the drivers tonight of who've graced us oh. with their presence for Season 20 tonight. As Jamie said, the touring cars are back. A car people know and love. Brands Hatch is back. A track people know and love. But Jamie, will they bloody love maximum pudulation later on? Probably not. No. Uh, in fact, almost guaranteed not to, right? <laughs> but um, it's great to see the chats buzzing off already. We've got all sorts of people here. Rob's back. Good to see Rob. How you getting on, mate? Crying's here. Racer's here. Ethan's here. Uh, Combative Mass is here. Jam Splat's here. Toasty Toad's here. Yeah, here we go, Rye. Exciting. Indeed, exciting. So without further ado, let's leave the warmth and comfort of the new gamers disco. Again, the DJ's just decided to cut the music. I mean, they need probably a new sucking. Ooh, all good. Uh, but anyway, let's leave here, shall we? And go get diggity down at trackside at Brands Hatch tonight as we take you through another epic new gamers event. Let's go, people. Oh, here we go then. We're down at trackside, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to get some fun on. Rob's here, Legion is here, Benderama, Racer, Combative Mass, Jam Splatter, all the fun people. Even Ethan's here as well. We had a follower before the night started in Stevie D71. Thanks, just jumped on board and subscribed for the sixth month. Run in. It's kicking off off the track, Jamie, and tonight I know it's going to kick off on it too. You know, do you? Some kind of sort of like crystal ball type thing. Yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, okay. Rob shouting early, Legionary for the win. I don't think Legionary is... Re is Legionary racing? He'll have a job when he's not in the championship to win. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, there's a chance, though. You know, he is yeah. he is pretty good. The big news, though, Ryan, is the man on the screen right now. Oh. After what feels like an eternity, and in reality was probably, I don't know, three seasons has he missed, maybe? Yeah. Something like that. Two or three seasons. The main man's back, behind the wheel. You know, he's remembered where to plug his wheel into his computer again. He's found <laughs> those USB ports, Ryan. Yeah. He's working out which one's the accelerator again. And here he is, Jimmy H. Official. Your your man, your your god. He's back amongst the mortals, Ryan, out on track. Is he going to surprise us? Has he been on an intensive three-month driver sim racing training course, Ryan? And he's going to come in and blow the field away. No, he's been playing World of Warcraft like an absolute nerd. So not expecting big things from Jimmy H tonight, but we shall see. Maybe he'll surprise us. 19th place overall in oh. free practice at the moment, but at the top of the leaderboard, Zerone's kicking off early doors, Jamie. Obviously okay. joined season 19, got in amongst it, started showing us what he's capable of over half a second quicker than his closest competitor, Nashift and Dazza, yep. who are in the 131 club. Duncan also in that club too. So are we going to see a new king of the castle in Zerone tonight? You know, debut first proper season, because I don't think he joined yep. every race last season. Maybe no. we could see a, a shock to the cards. Well, he's uh, Jimmy's currently got 11.1 seconds to find to match that time from <laughs> Zerone, Ryan. You know, don't rule it out. Yep. If you can, you know, take a few tenths here and there, he can easily make up that 11 seconds. So uh, do not worry about that. Yeah, absolutely. He's their own. Looks like a decent driver, of course. But, you know, we've got Dazza in, Ryan. We've got Bobber in. Two guys that have been super quick for the last two seasons. We've got Nashift, who's... Who, Nashift's capable of winning every race, Ryan, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you know, when it, but he, it feels like he needs everything to come together for that to happen. 
Um, quite often he, he lets the opportunities of podiums etc slip away would you say yeah but to be fair to him Jamie he's just clocked a very impressive yeah, yeah, 131 yeah, yeah. oh yeah this is what I'm saying um, so you know he's got he's got it in the locker that boy maybe home huh? comforts Brands Hatch touring cards again a combination people know and love perhaps this is his night obviously a lot shorter laps tonight than we're perhaps used to from um, the last few seasons Jamie only 1 minute 31 on the clock uh, but yeah. as we've mentioned before, we're going to have clear. Then it's going to get absolutely filthy out there with a storm brewing before finishing with a little bit of light drizzle. So interesting tonight, Jamie. It's like, oh, uh, yeah, you know, here's an epic storm, lads. But don't worry, you can look forward to the relief of just light rain. <laughs> Yeah. afterwards that to, to sort yourselves out yeah uh when the rain starts the four-wheel drives forward uh wheel drive cars will shine says leisure is leisure even but as it gets wetter the beamers will come into their own right the beamers what's jimmy driving actually uh, astra the... there he is look and look at the, the livery he's got yeah now he <laughs> mentioned this before because basically it's been so long since we've done the touring cars and obviously we used to have quite a lot of custom liveries going on and he mentioned it earlier in, in our little chat, and he was just like, I wonder what custom livery you've got to set up for the touring cars tonight, because I'm going to go for it, and we'll see what it is. And he's absolutely hit the jackpot with a bit of free Wolfie's yeah, branding tonight. Isn't it? Yeah, I expect the next one will be NAF-related, right? Probably get no, that sorted for next week. Bit, bit NAF, that, actually, so probably give that one a miss. Um, it but is Zerone, NAF, yeah content with his time at the top of free practice he's only gone and dropped by the stream as well and dropped us a cheeky little follow as well so big up to Zerone uh, the latest member to join um, the new gamers and twitch channel over 900 people now joining cheering us on uh, which is you know, fantastic to see indeed mr rich another guy who um, has been pretty quick in recent weeks right getting more consistent getting quicker as well up in seventh currently Duncan's there as well, Chambinator. Don't rule him out. And who's this, Ryan? Toby Owen, a brand new name to me at least, up in third place currently. <laughs> sorry. He's obviously new and he's picked the custom car. Just go back to his car. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry. He's got the chippy slippers Britney <laughs> <laughs> from back in the day. <laughs> he hasn't realised. Oh, no. He hasn't realised. That's fantastic. That's yeah, that's uh, well, he bad. wouldn't have known, would he? He would have absolutely no, cool. had no way of knowing. Oh, um, man. I hope he watches this back. Look at this. Let's get, a zoom. Let's get a closer look at the <laughs> back, right? Oh, Team God. Brittany, look at those chippy slippers. I forgot about that. <laughs> Bloody hell. Poor. He's going to watch this stream back. He's going to be like, oh, my first ever de oh, my debut race. I'm going to watch myself back. And he's going to be like, oh, what am I driving? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable scenes, Ryan, as Buzzerwack makes his way around the track, currently in 12th place, just in behind Psycho Lizard right now, don't Ooh. forget. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello in the background, and then Psycho Lizard taking a little trip into the gravel as well, and there it is. Um, he's done me there, so let's go to done Cun, Ryan. Yeah? I like it, I like it. Yeah, another member of the 131 club, six members of that club at the moment. Ben Rama rightly saying lots of cars looking twitchy. And the thing is, Jamie, you can be quick on this track, but because it's a shorter track as well, back markers are going to play a part. We've got weather to play a part. There's so many variables tonight that yeah. I'm not going to make any predictions of anything because genuinely, whoever, someone who might be 10th could end up winning this race. I've just got no idea what's going to happen tonight. And well. Jamie, that is the way we love it. It is, and after last season, uh, where we had that race where Feg was third place going into the last lap and ended up winning the bloody race, it was, it, you know, anything could happen. I think, I don't think, I think Penderon was making a pun there, because we're on Twitch, Ryan. Lots of cars looking twitchy. If he there. hasn't. If that's he's, not what he's doing, yeah, yeah he's there's issues. He's let, he's, let, he's let everyone, his family, yeah, every, everyone's been let down. Yeah. Uh, King Kodiak now up to third as well, Ryan. Um, so there's another guy that we haven't mentioned who's got chance and the capability to win races here's backy uh we're almost done with free practice right and then the real stuff starts the real stuff starts. and sorry and by the real stuff of course i mean snack chat what else did you <laughs> yeah, well, yeah of course yeah. <laughs> yes we do have some snackage chattage going on during qualification 20 minutes of qualification this evening um and jamie 
you're going to want to win this one if you're trying to hunt down this championship because to get away from the pack early doors tonight could play a huge factor in you know not getting caught up in all this mid-pack carnage that we it's going to be inevitable i mean look at the times you know if you're a dazzer if you're a duncan sixth and seventh place you're going to get stuck in and amongst you know some, some serious amount of traffic down in there um so you know first and second is where you need to be if you want to have a real good opportunity of kicking this season off in style Mm, indeed but you know don't forget as you said the weather will be switching mid-race so they're gonna have to all pit for tire changes ryan it's um which obviously can throw anything out there so it's, it's gonna be crazy but a great a great time 131.1 ryan just just confirm quickly is qualifying in the dry yes qualifying is in the dry and the top 10 mm. for free practice this is our own Nash of King Cody at Toby Owen, Shaminator does a Duncan, Mr. Rich and Crichton Alpha and Toe Knee as we head over to qualification. Here we go then, 20 minutes on the clock. Um, Fliberty will be in this chat in a second. Oh dear, what's he being up to you? That does not sound good, um, but laughs and coaches. Yeah. Nice. Well, I just, uh, yeah, I mean, who doesn't like laughing and roller coasters? You, in fact, you don't. You don't like the second one, do you? No. You bloody love the first one, so it makes up for it. Um, Laughs and Coasters is another brand new race, Ryan. Good to see a few new names getting involved in this championship. Uh, another one here for you. Oh, as I clicked him, he's just moved. Fuse Fulf, Ryan. That's a good one. It's a good one. I like it. Yeah, plenty of new names frequenting the racetrack today, but it is an old and gold name frequenting the Twitch chat, Jamie, as Wheels McGee rears his ugly little face again and subscribes for his 31st <laughs> month to the new Wheelie's game. Wheels McGee's hilarious, isn't he? Because he doesn't know. I don't think he actually watches ever. He just no. comes in once a month just to redo that sub. Yeah. I mean, that's love for you. I Wheels, think he's trying to... stick around because you are going to get the opportunity to get involved with the greatest Twitch feature Ever. Radio feature, I'd say, right? The greatest radio feature ever. <laughs> the greatest radio feature. Um, Ryan, I think he's coming in, he's subbing, and he's, he's trying to, you know, sort of grease the wheels a bit, get you get you to commit to that purchase of his graphic card. <laughs> uh, Stevie D's so. cheering maybe not, on... Maybe not um, the driver on. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Stevie D's uh, big enough fuse ball tonight. Fliberty is indeed here. Just says big up news. Welcome, Fliberty. But it is time, ladies and gentlemen, as qualification kicks off. Are we ready for Snack Chat is back, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. During qualification, I've got a snack on my desk. Tell me what it is. Get throw your questions in. Have your say. And the winner, whoever gets it right, wins himself a free new gamers Twitch subscription. Um, so get those things in. Rob's asking, is there any room in the lobby? Unfortunately not, Rob. This is absolutely jam-packed tonight. Um, so it's going to be a good one. Uh, Yerasan suggesting the yeah. fastest full grid in NG history. Yeah. Yerasan, you're not there. Mate. So he's, he's missed that. No, no, what he means is it the sign-ups filled up so quick that he couldn't that was, get in. Yeah, yeah I think it was minutes. about... <laughs> it was lit yeah i was gonna say it was literally 40 minutes all yeah. slot plus reserves were gone i think it was something stupid like 25 in the first like six minutes or something insane wasn't it absolutely yeah 41 minutes zero to 30 drivers done <laughs> like ridiculous oh flippancy <laughs> People, Ryan is so popular, people are even lying to get in. They're trying to sneak <laughs> their way in. Yes. Don't worry, Liberty. I'm glad you found your way here to enjoy the fun with me and my good pal, Ryan Armour. Exactly. Right then, girlfriend of Thegs here. She is so ready for Snapchat. Get those guesses flying in there, ladies and gentlemen. 16 minutes to go of qualifying. What snack are we rocking tonight? Get those guesses flying in. But welcome, everyone, to the Noob Game. It's your Thursday night entertainment. And it's the Times early doors, Jamie. King Kodiak with a 131.2, just pretty tasty to skip things off with. Very tasty, very tasty, Ryan, but not as tasty as the snack you're about to enjoy. Give oh. us the clue. Uh, well, no clues. I'm gonna make it difficult. Season 20. We're not, not even having a noise. Not even having a noise. Get your no, come guesses on. and questions. Part of it, mate. Like... A little rustled part of it. Come on, that's what everyone's here. For. Well, no, I'm not gonna do anything. Come on. You are me, aren't you? Look, you? Look, they're, look, they're calling for it. They want the Russell, Ryan. <laughs> they want the Ryan Russell. 
Uh, no, no Russell. But can't believe it. It's Racer X T C three three one suggesting sweet stuff, suggesting fruit, and he's in the right sort of ballpark, ladies and gentlemen. Early well, with doors. which one? I mean, uh, that's two very different things there. <laughs> I'll let you decide. Chicken goose. <laughs> Oh, he knows me too well. Imagine if you were just sat there, just smashing a full plate of chicken goujons. Well, in the, in the new game of Discord, before this race, I go was on, asking the people, on. what snack shall I go for? Someone just suggested a curry. And everyone was like, is that your house. snack? What are you having as your mate? <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's unbelievable earlier tonight, Ryan. Uh, uh, a, f a friend of mine at work um, who's, who may be tuning in, he said he may watch tonight. Actually, I was uh, having a Zoom call with him. You know, having a nice meeting. Yeah. Door, door behind him goes, because obviously everyone's working from home. Wife pops in, just pops him in some uh, homemade apple crumble with the, with ice cream. I'm like, what? This is <laughs> this is the service you need. Yeah. Unbelievable scenes. It's sensational. And unbelievable scenes out on track, Jamie's Nashrift. Pitch is Hitches. Pips. King Kodiak to pole with yes. a 131.2. Tony up there with a 131.3. Thegs up there, 131.4. Psycho Lizard in the 131 Club, Jamie. It is unbelievably close. Look at those top four times, Lee. Yeah. Well, and we've well, not well. even got we've not even got Dazza or Bobber right up there. Or Zerone, <laughs> who we would expect. Right, Ryan, I'm gonna chuck some at you. You ready? Yep, Give, I just want yet or no. Okay. Uh, apple sauce. No. Apple pie. No. Raisins. Frutella. No. Half a pound steak sandwich. No. <laughs> Fruit bottles or round trees pastels. Incorrect. Jelly tots. Nada. Full pizza pie. No. Crispy M&Ms. Incorrect. Starburst. No. Fruit winder. No. Bloody hell. It's kicking off tonight. There's plenty of guesses rolling in right. Now, um, come on. Let's put them out of the misery. Is it sweet? It is sweet. Yeah. Okay. It is sweet. Okay, done. It's sweet. But it's not... It's not fruit. It could be fruit. Is it fruit? It's fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've actually thrown a spanner amongst the words there, going for, for fruit. Terry's chocolate, orange, no. Banana combat mass is gone. No, not a banana. I love that jam straight out of the jar. Just <laughs> munching on jam. That'd be amazing. Well, wolf sponsored by Wolfers, of course. Sponsored by Wolfers, yeah. McFly up the yeah. seventh place, Jamie, also in the 131 club. Yeah, Girlfriend well. if they're yeah. going strawberries, cherries. FLT33 just says, how are we? He doesn't understand what's going on in the background. Just ask okay. us how we are. But we're very okay. good, mate. How are you? Yeah, great to have you with us. <laughs> Apple oh, Chris. God. quite like that, right? Wheels Apple McGee. Crisp. Let's not expose, Easy dealer like Jane. Let's yeah, not expose these sort of things on Twitch. <laughs> these are private are jokes. Come on. Come on. Pears, right. I like Apple Crisps as a guest, right? No, all incorrect. No. Pears. Apple Slices. Great. Now, I know you love a grape, right? Grapes. <laughs> Grapes. Okay, so is it an alternative fruit, would you say? I wouldn't say it's alternative, no. I mean, Ben Rama, we've already uh, commented on the Britney Spears livery. It was basically from, like, season, I don't know, eight or something. And obviously, you know, we've got custom liveries here. They would have sent it to me literally over a year ago. Jimmy, before this race, said, I wonder what custom liveries you've got installed. And that yeah. guy who's rocking it tonight is a brand new racer. He's obviously picked the custom livery thinking, oh, well, I'll have something cool. Just no got idea. Britney Mobile straight off the bat. Did he lose the belt or something? No, he was just mental. That's wrong. He just was a massive Britney Spears fan, absolute legend. Yeah. Chippy Slippers, you may know the name. I love Bender Armour, like missing that, not not hearing the story, but just watching the stream, like, what the actual hell is going on out there? Yeah. That's fantastic. Got gone for the full bottle of water there tonight, have we? Well, I've gone for um, lemon and lime uh, Tesco um, drinker. <laughs> That might be a clue. That might be a fruit clue. Well, Everyone, be, ladies and gentlemen. Kiwi. kiwi. Great it's not show. A kiwi. Not a kiwi. It's not a kiwi. Yeah. I mean, if it's not that alternative, you'd have thought they'd have got it by now. <laughs> what have, what have... I can't believe no one's got it yet. If I'm what are frank. the obvious ones they've not got? <laughs> Pineapple. Don't you start guessing and get it right. Okay, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. Anyway, King Kodiak and Daza and Zerone, Jamie, break through to the 130 club now with 11 wow. minutes to go. There it is. It is hotting up the top 11 drivers now split by just over a second. 
Wow, wow, wow. Ryan, big news though. Bob uh, has picked up a penalty. Not only has he yet to get a representative lap in, he's also picked up a one grid place penalty and he's now, oh, hey, he's, now got a, he's now got a representative lap in. I was like, I was looking down where he was. I was like, oh, wait, he's gone. He must have dropped from the lobby. No, no, he just popped up to second. <laughs> Look at that top three oh. positioning, Ryan. Unbelievable. This, King will take second currently to the insane. Oh, this is going to be insane. Well, I can absolutely believe why so many people are tuning in tonight. If you haven't, if you know people who aren't here ready to watch this race, go on, go on Actual Vision stream and say, "Bin that off. Come and watch this project last <laughs> two races tonight." Because this event tonight, much funnier, isn't it? It's going to be obviously funnier, but. I yeah, mean, obviously. the top five people at the moment are split by two tenths that of a second. That is mental. This the is going to be ridiculous tonight, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. The top three, less than half a tenth between them, Ryan. That is oh. insane. I mean, you don't get snack chat on the actual vision, right? Or, or, or indeed any professional sim racing stream, which, of course, no. we absolutely are not. So, um... Yeah, Nashif up to six, Danza now up to four, Toe Knee, right, coming out of nowhere with a fifth place lap time. Absolutely fantastic. Jimmy, pretty solid, actually, you have to say, on his return, Ryan, 18th, pretty decent sort of mid pack, lower yeah. mid pack time there for Jim, not bad at all, right? Too bad. Nashi has a 129 in it, reckon, to roll. I mean, imagine Ooh. if he just busts out a 125. Currently on a 131, too, that would be a big improvement, Ryan. Satsumas, cherries, kiwis, tangerine, pineapple, oh, what's going on, mango, Jamie? Why can't they get it? Rhubarb, so what, none no, of them? None of them! How was that? I don't understand. What? I don't understand how. No, I'm going to just scroll back through the chat. Have I missed <laughs> Come <laughs> <laughs> kumquats! It's kumquats, yeah, that's what you know. Yeah, it. just a kumquat, yeah. Just yeah, Ryan, I've quite often just smashed into some kumquats. <laughs> I've quite often caught with a cheeky kumquat. Yeah, all the time. All the time. A jackfruit. jackfruit. Ryan, I'm mean, sorry, I have told you, all, ladies and gentlemen, so many times about the lack of adventurous variety in Ryan's diets. <laughs> He's not going to be having jackfruit. <laughs> Lychees. But he's not going to be having any of that. Let's put that out there. Oh, a Dorian I think fruit. Oh, I, I think Wiener might have got it with blueberry. He's not. He's not got it with oh, blueberry now. Ryan, yeah. give us a. Is give us a colour. I can't give you a colour because exactly. as soon as I say the colour, well, I hope they've not everyone, got it. Well, because I don't know. I genuinely have no idea how <laughs> no one's not got it. it. It's like it's like the most basic fruit. You're going, and no one's it's got not, it. Oh no, it's not. Oh, let me just check that no one said it. <laughs> yes, no the bat it fast, finally! Fuck yeah, Jesus. Apple. I'm just thinking Apple. Is it, I know it said Apple. Ta -da. I can't believe it. Your choice for Snapchat tonight was an yeah. Apple. If you had said that to me before, I would have said, that is the worst one you've ever done. <laughs> it turns out it's one of the best. Yeah, exactly. There we go, then. Trust in that. Uh, I never win. No, you don't come out of mass, but tonight you is... You did now. As I'm choking, right? Tonight is your night. Well done, goodbye, Mass. You've turned wow. up. I can't gift you a sub because you're already subscribed, though, which sort of defeats the object. So let him choose. Let him choose. You can pick someone else in the channel and get them to uh, get it. Tonight. So there you go. I mean, it was literally the simplest one, and no one got it. But anyway, Jamie, uh, five people yeah. in the 130 club. What's going? On? It's now Apple Saw says race. He's got a fair point, actually. You are sort of mushing it up to in some <laughs> into some sort of Apple Saw, which he did guess. That is a weak snack, weird to say. It is actually quite a weak snack. To Wheels, you, we've right? been doing this feature for like, what, four months now? A couple of months, yeah. A couple of months. We've exhausted the sort of stuff. Yeah, stats we have. You've had some crazy stuff going on, mate. Um, all I'm going to say, just one before we move on, um, an app, possibly the worst possible choice of food for live streaming and commentating. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm only going to eat as much. I'm only going to eat as much as I've eaten. Because yeah. But now I'm you've eaten one pie, you're going to pop up on the table for two hours, and but when you go back to it later, it's going to have all gone brown on that bit you've eaten. No, uh, I just have to slyly do it during the racing. Okay. Uh, all right, mate. But anyway, Racing Vet has got a question: Have you enough. played PC3? The answer to that question is yes. Racing Vet, I actually really enjoy that game. I've got quite deep into the career mode on it. Um, we have done a few little events in the past. Um, you know, streaming Project Cars Three. Um, Great for one offs, guys, isn't it? Yeah, Great for one offs. One -offs. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed yeah. it. Not, yes. not so much for leagues, um, actually. Yeah. For, uh, pretty poor for leagues, actually. I have to say, they've stripped a lot of that sort of feature out of it. But for the, for the fun one offs where we can sort of get the community involved racing with us, 
live on stream, which is something a bit different, right? It's um, it's a great laugh because of its pick up and play nature. Yeah, it's a racing bet. It's not worried about lead race. I'm just kind of torn if it's worth by just I mean, it depends I mean, what you want different. to get out of a racing game. Yeah. Like, if you Make want to just, speech out, right. yeah, if you want to just pick it up, have a quick rinse around for an evening, have a bit of fun, not have to practice, and you know you like challenges and set time trials and you know just racing around some really cool tracks. Um, single player, then I would recommend it. It's a, it is a fun game to play. Uh, More but like if grid, isn't it? More yeah, like if you're looking for like a serious sim racing game, not not yeah, not for you. It's a sort of controller pad type racer. I think I would. Um, but it is a lot of fun, I will say. It, it, uh, yeah, I think it's predominantly f more fun and, you know, therefore arcadey than than, uh, than other options. I mean, Project Cars 2 may be a, a decent middle ground, not the most simmy, but definitely more simmy. Um, here's Segler Ryan Thegg, who had an excellent season last season, last couple of seasons actually, currently in 10th place, which is solid. Actually, only 7 tenths off pole, that's how close it is down in 10th, right? Um, one to watch maybe tonight, picking up some decent points. Yeah, exactly. Um, lots of good races out there tonight. Um, he says, well, I'm trying to get better with road racing for, like, eye racing. So, yeah, if, you, if you're looking to go down probably that not. route... Definitely not. Uh, probably not for you. <laughs> but, yeah. hey, racing vet, if you want to join perhaps nearly a thousand more like-minded sim racers, you can, of course, join our Discord channel, the link in there. We yeah. play ACC, we play Race Room, we play AMSM2, play Project Cars 2... Um, and also we talk about, you know, all sorts of apps. Yeah. We all shared our Lego the other night, which is quite fun. You'll get um, actually. That's a, it's a great show, racing event to jump in there and just ask for some opinions because you know it's all about opinions. You'll get a, a nice spread and variety of people that have got a lot of experience with different titles out there. So I'm sure you'll get what you want. Bender Armour, I'm actually watching this while trying to work on a novel. It's going as well as Turn One probably will tonight. <laughs> actually, turn One tonight, Ryan. Oh, Jamie, um, Bender Armour, yes. we can help you out, mate. Tell us, tell us where you're stuck, right? And me and Ryan will come up with the next uh, next plot point. Yeah. Absolutely. Jamie, can we just say this? The top 13 races are split by less than a second. When was the last time bloody we had hell. that going on? I mean, bloody hell, Ryan. I can't get over those top three still. The oh, king has taken. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> kingy, kingy, kingy. Do not roll out crowning a new king tonight, Ryan. Wowza. Wow, wow, wow. Look at those top three. Oh, my word. King Kodiak is a road bobber. Split by a Nat Nadger at the top of the lead. <laughs> Wowzers, as well. Uh, ben Robin, no problem. For, for his new song. Yeah, Again. I can help you out with that. Yeah, Good. no yeah. problem. Yeah. I've, you know, I've released music, Ryan. I've released a novel. It's, it's just easy, isn't it? This yeah. stuff. Yeah, I mean, no we, problem. Me, you, and a friend of ours literally um, wrote, recorded, and released an album within a 48-hour period. <laughs> And got offered a record deal in America <laughs> randomly. In America, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. God, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? The good old days. We probably won't go into yeah. We probably won't go into some of the song titles on that one, maybe. But, um, yeah. Any word? Have fun. Commentate in the race, Ryan and Jamie. We're gonna try. Have fun. Try. Have fun. Racing in the race. Oversaw. Where is Oversaw? Eighth place for Oversaw. Good. He's good time, that is. But he's not that far off the lead in eighth place. That exactly. So Ben Durham says, exactly. well, currently, a child's about to get murdered, so I'm not sure you want to help Well, we that. need a bit more info to help um, help out with that. Where are you stuck? And Racer says, child murdered in turn one. Sounds fair. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, are you predicting a murder tonight? Are you predicting a riot, Ryan? I mean, damage is on. We're in the touring cars. There's a really fast grid. I mean, we've now got the top 14 cars split by less than a second. Genuinely, people... Put it on your social medias, go into other people's discords, do whatever you can and just go and tell people who like this game and like sim racing. Bin whatever off they're doing. As I said, go. why don't you all go onto Activision Street now and just say, bin I'm this rubbish you. off, <laughs> come and watch us over here because this tonight is going to be an absolute <laughs> feast of... Uh, exactly, <laughs> Ben the Rabbit. Go and haul the stream out. Exactly. Imagine if no, no, someone actually did that. Activision would probably be like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Yeah, where are my Poor people going? Yeah, he's a legend. He's a lovely guy. You know, don't don't be mean to me. You know, clearly this is going to take. Um, Brian, I'm a little bit annoyed, disappointed, upset, and you know, overall concerned for your 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 mental state that you didn't take the opportunity to sing the I Predict the Riot song. When I I absolutely set you up like a champ. Yeah, I, I don't know. 
like it's, it's not the best song but it's okay um, it's not i know it's a terrible song but i set you up an absolute treat yeah i, I didn't want to take the bait because i didn't want to stoop myself to that level of low so, yeah yeah hey ryan do you believe anyone can ever fly Let me down again. Brian, have you ever visited the Wild West? Uh, what? The Wicked Wicked Wild. Wicked Wild. Yeah, wicked Wild Wild West. West. Jim West. Desperado. Rough Rider. No, you don't want that. None of this. This gun and this brother running this buffalo soldier. Look, it's like I told ya. Carry Thanks, on. mate. Um, yeah, if you just scroll down your leaderboard, yeah, no, that was much better. I feel better now. <laughs> I, I just want you to look at 18th and 19th and guess which is which for me. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm going to go Come on. Frimo Come on. to 18th and Fridge 19th. Ready? Oh, he's done it. He's absolutely done it. Yes. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I forgot you got that. <laughs> Why would you not play the I believe I can fly thing? Wait a there it is. All I wanted. It's all I want. Just for you, James. Just for you. Oh. Uh, Racing Vets dropped us a follow, though. Obviously, absolutely loving I believe I can fly. And tonight, Racing Vet, we're going to see so many out on track. Are we the only racing stream out there that actually actively promotes fatalities in the world? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Jimmy, I'm uh, just chatting with Jimmy Broadbent. Apparently he's on, right? I might nip off and watch that, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that is fair. Here's Duncan, though. He's trying to... He's one of very few left out on track, Ryan, trying to improve his time here. He's currently 11th with a 131 for... Oh, I don't think he's going to improve it by going that slow. Zero, no, Ryan. He's not going slow, and he's currently second place. Oh, and he's so close to King Kodiak, Ryan. Can he snatch pole at the death in That'd dramatic be... fashion? That would be ridiculous. I love this racing vet. Can we get some rain on track so we can watch some deaths? Oh, yeah, racing vet. We're going to have a storm later, and I'm not even Ethan's joking. Ethan's covered it for you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan's covered it for you, mate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, racing vet, you want to stick around here. You're going to absolutely, like, just feel like you've hit the jackpot with this channel tonight if that's what you want out on your racing <laughs> um you've still got too much things to chat that yeah i don't really know i've i've watched i've seen the old youtube video of him ben drama but nothing more than that but i do know that his reputation is a bit patchy you know in the sim racing community but it's always the case uh, when anyone gets big in a in a particular game genre there's uh, people who love them and people who hate them i'm sorry here's the own right he's crossing the line doesn't improve. Who else is still going? Frimo's not done. Fridge and Frimo both done. Jimmy, <laughs> this is Jimmy at full speed, actually, right? Yeah, yeah. This is him. <laughs> Look at him. He's absolutely blitzing it. Here, here uh, he goes. Wait, 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 this. wait, 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 wait. No, here he can. He's going to finish. <laughs> here he comes, right? <laughs> He's watching the stream, don't we? He's loving this. Stuff. This is absolute full blast. And where, is Jimmy going to improve in his time? Uh, he doesn't, right? He just, just stays 24th, unfortunately. Right, here we go. Mm. Look at that top Look three. At this. this is ridiculous. Look at the top six, Jamie. All in the 130s. We've got King Kodiak, Zerone, Bobber as your Stupid. top three in qualification. Dazza, Tony, Nashiv, Crichton Alpha, Omasaur, Chaminator, and Thega. I mean, just to get inside the top 10 for qualification, that is going some, to be fair, with this grid tonight. We've got Duncan, Backy, Mr. Rich, Toby Owen, Psycho Lizard, McFly, Fridge, Buzzerwhack, Frimode, Oshin, Took, Badapain, Jam Splatter, Jimmy H, Rogi Baloki, Ethan, Fuzz, Ulf, Roughneck One, Toasty Toad, and Laughs and Coasters. We didn't bother setting a lap, it's just got two grid plates. Don't, so, don't, yeah. don't, don't need to, don't need to, so... Don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh, but to oh, confirm... And Rama top five all beams as well. They blast away like a rocket off the line. Yeah, interesting times out there. Ryan Nash Shall shift. I do it? Sixth Shall place, I do it? the first non-beamer. Shall I do it, everyone? Shall I press continue? Oh, of course, Are I forgot you doing that. Yeah, Are doing it, doing Are it. ready? Come on. Do it. Um, Ryan, I'm going to try something that I've seen other successful streamers do, so uh, we'll see if it works there. Throw some flames in the chat! Throw some flames in the chat! Let's see if that works. Whilst we're waiting for that, um, you know, hype train to kick off, right? Yeah. Give me a prediction for this race win right now. Um, oh, God. Don't, I don't want any words other than the name of a driver. Zerone. Okay. I like that. Vendor <laughs> arm. Just no. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> that's, why we, you know, that's why we love our fans, right? Yeah, exactly. Can we call them fans? 
Or, you know, sort of people that tolerate us yeah, so that they that can watch the race us. they're interested in. Uh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. insert flame here. So it's, yeah, nice. You've gone Zerone. You, you've been, you've, to be fair, you've been consistent. You picked him out first, didn't you? Um, I'm going to go Dazza from third. Okay, cool. Um, all those things, yeah, there's only one thing left to say, Jamie. <laughs> There you are, you're back like in. So loud that it cut your mic out for like 20 seconds there. Because you, you clicked the limiter so, so intensely on that clip. I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> Discord was like, no, that is bammy volume levels. I'm going to cut this boy's mic. Oh, dear. Uh, this is the view from the back, Ryan. Toasty Toad here. Around the corner. Can't even see the front. But here we go. Let's get back. Are you ready, Ryan? I don't think I am for this, Jamie. I don't know. You excited though? Do it in three, two, one. Let's go racing, ladies and gentlemen. Brands Hatch Season 20 touring cars. Let's get it on. And what a little move that is from Dazza straight up to second place. Bobber up to third place. Jamie Zerone down in fifth place. Not had the best start at all with Chambernator looking to make some moves, although he is losing places fast. But King Kodiak gets away early down further down the back. It seems like we don't have much carnage going on. Jamie, get us in that first corner. We've done that one, mate. <laughs> one, we're on like the fourth one. corner. Yeah. <laughs> we um, I don't think there was any carnage at all, Ryan. Very clean from the whole grid. But up front, my boy Dazza, he's making the easy early move, sorry, I should say, on King Kodiak. And he snatches that first place. Bobba also up to third. Tony up to fourth. So right with a terrible start. The big loser there, Ryan, going down to sixth place. Crichton with an excellent start as well. Up to seventh. And let's get a look at this Britney Spears boy up to ninth. Great start from a lot of the drivers. It is toasty at the top, though, as cars come very close together. We've got two ways, two people going into one corner, three cars going into one corner. It's all kicking off here. McFly, who did actually qualify quite strongly down in 19th place now. He's got Mr. Richard two in and around him. So much traffic on the track, Jamie. There's cars coming off and they're oh. coming across. Oh, my word. Um, Vet's not happy. He's unfollowed. No turn one. That's do oh. not worry. That is very rare. It will come back. Do not worry. Uh, brilliant start from the whole field. You have to say, Ryan. Absolutely fantastic start. From them. Really good start. But the top three have got themselves away now. They're over a second away from the rest of the pack. We got Dazza, King Kodiak, and Boba all pounding that tarmac hard. Great spot. Look at all this, right? Look, Look at the at train them. of cars. It would just jump down a bit so we can get that camera angle again. Look at that. Just cars are endlessly. This is absolutely fantastic. Brilliant driving from everyone, Ryan. We have to say, excellent work. Absolutely. It looks like Dazzle and King Cody are getting very close on the top, Jamie. Those times fluctuating. Got the lead Left, back, right, right center. Yeah. Rones dropped all the way off the pace now, down to oh, 17th no. place. Uh, but King Kodiak has got that move done on Dazza, as Jamie said. Bobber's not Thank far you, behind, bro. though. And waiting in the wings is Nashift and Thegg <laughs> yeah. in the many pieces. Right, there's so many battles, we can't possibly catch it all. But there we go, we got Thegg. Uh, just pushed out wide there as Duncan Chamonair and Omasaw are through. And then we got Tony at the head of this little train as well. Nashif in a bit of no man's land. Nashif basically, literally, actually, the only driver out on track without a battle indicator at the moment, <laughs> right? Um, up in fourth place. Uh, and, you know, look at this top three. This is crazy scenes. Here's Bobber in third, just biding his time, right? And, you know, 42 minutes to go, Ryan. We've not even had... This is weather slot one of four. They get a little bit more extreme after this. Yes, exactly. Multiple weather slots going on tonight with the top three racers holding on to each other's coattails as they make it some excellent racing. Looks like Bobber's um, going to try and slip one day on the inside of Dazza here and hit him baby one more time. And he does just about push him out. Dazza forced to go yeah. a little bit wide. Had to get on the brakes to allow that move to happen. But all that does is allow King Kodiak to extend his lead to a second up the top though. And Nashif gets a little bit closer from behind as well. Wow, 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 Jamie. Yeah, nice to see the respect there. Bobber knew that maybe that was slightly too much on the push in there, a bit close even. Flash the brake lights, and then Dazza giving him a little flashback to say, yeah, cheers, appreciate that. The, yeah. the hard, respectful racing continue, and here we go. Crichton was up to seventh, Ryan, but he's right in the thick of it now. Literally surrounded, pinned in like a box by other cars, Ryan. Where does he go? Well, he's going to try and go down the inside, but there's going to be not much room to react in there as he's battling with 
Renault round that corner and they just about get there with keeping all the parts of their car still intact. But oh no, there's an absolute Psycho thunder Lizard. hammer from Psycho Lizard. Just comes out of nowhere like John Cena and just tries to take him out. But luckily, these cars can take a little bit of a rumpy bumpy, Jamie. Yeah, it looks like your call is working, Ryan. Activision has shed about 15 viewers and most of them have seemed to have come here. So there we go, Ryan. <laughs> the power of positive thinking. Um, racing vet. Is racing vet Jimmy Slippers in design, in disguise? Because he's making Britney Spears dreams. If we can have more Britney tonight, that would be sensational. Oh, oh <laughs> whoa! <and laughs> she's definitely gone. gone one more time there. Oh, she is gone. gone. Oh, I couldn't even catch him, Ryan. There he is. He's completely the wrong way. Zerone, Ryan, having absolute... Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. Uh, so, awkward, <laughs> awkward. Had Zerone read the, uh, the, the driver's standards, do you think? That was awkward. the mother of all track resets. <laughs> <laughs> what? What was that? Oh, dear me. Anyway, Zerone Ryan obviously felt the pressure from your support and your um, yeah. your prediction, and he's, he's absolutely bottled it there. So um, I think, oh, Ryan, I see some specks of rain. God, and Ben Darama's also cleared up my absolute shambles of the commentary, because yes. What did you um, say? John Cena's You Can't See Me, it's Randy Orton who comes out of nowhere. He's, yeah, you're absolutely right, Ben So, uh, I mean, racer, uh, yes. <laughs> Basically, yeah. The answer is yes. Yeah, the answer Here is comes yes. the rain, Ryan. It comes right now. Remind me, Ryan. Are we going into light rain first, or are we going full storm? Uh, we're going clear to storm to light rain, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so, okay, great, fantastic it seems. Okay, so um, prepare for pit stops, Ryan, within the next five ten minutes, I would say. Exactly. Um, I mean, I certainly feel it in my fingers, ladies and gentlemen. It's about to get wet, wet, wet. Maximus undulation reigning supreme in a matter of moments given how relentless storm is in project cast yeah i mean even light rain is pretty extreme to be honest with you is storms the one with all the lightning and everything getting get, get, get going isn't it i mean oh fantastic scenes ryan uh the battle at the at the top uh, actually as dazza comes in very early ryan dazza has decided to pit already is he changing to wets very early he must be he must be, surely. I don't think he picked up any significant damage, Ryan. That is a big, bold move from Daza. I mean, feels a bit early to me, Ryan. Well, he knows how quickly that storm comes, That's though, true. and here it does that come. True. I this... see lots of Amargo in, in right now. Sorry, Ryan. Mm. A few we penalties could. as well. McFly, Backy, Jim, Omisol, all picking up track penalties as well out there. This is going to... This strategy is going to be all over the shop. People are going to be in different cycles of the race all night, Ryan. This is, this is a crazy one. Back, Master. No, we didn't in the end. You, know, you get to choose who's the winner, so choose someone and we'll gift it all. You know, the lead is under serious threat here. Boba really laying down the hammer on King Kodiak, trying to dethrone him, trying to commit regicide in front of our very eyes. Ryan, is he going to get away with it? Looking very, very racy with King Kodiak. King Kodiak trying to defend, of course, though, Jamie. I think they'll both end up just flying into the pits after this as wow. well, though, which could make it yeah. interesting. So, wow, yeah, wow, wow. Indeed. And then we'll, of course, we'll then we'll find out whether uh, Dazza's early gamble has paid off. He's currently back down in 17th, Ryan, 41 seconds off the lead. Let's see, though. Let's see what these guys do here. I predict they're going to come into the pits. If not, then they both do, Ryan. They both. <laughs> do but Nashif does not oh he does sorry he that does. was a bad market yeah Nashif does so there we go let's get on board with uh, Dazza and see where he is Ryan still some way from the end but it, it is a decently long stop here as um there we go back of Marley gets the sub DJ, yeah, there you go uh hooked him up from back fast no worries a legionary reckons one more lap so he's well, perhaps this disagreeing is, with Daz's tactics. Daz went very early, didn't he? Yeah, went, he Daz went two laps ago. But you know, he's got the he's got the, the one bonus Daz does have now, he's got a completely free track. And he's on the right tires. So he's gotta just absolutely nail these times, Ryan. But uh let's get back on with Bob is still in the pits, Ryan. As Look the pits are very, cars. very Look busy. So here cars. comes here comes King. Oh, I've actually lost him. Here comes Daz. It's gonna be close, Ryan. It's gonna be close. I think he'll do it. He will do it. Who? Dazza. Who? Dazza will do it. You think he'll have the overspeed going into this corner. Oh, look oh no! Is his 
King's going to get those tyres up to temperature, Ryan, in these wet conditions. He's got to find the new braking points. Daza needs to act now. He needs to attack now, Ryan, and take advantage of King while he's learning his way around the track. But Daza going wide there, Ryan. That's not going to help him. Oh, interesting. I thought Daza was just going to have the overspeed coming up the hill there as, he, as they then go back down. But King Kodiak got just out in front enough. Uh, which is interesting. But, wow. Jamie, there's still three cars ahead of these two who either haven't pitted yeah. and are just going for it, which, I mean, fair play to Yeah, them, mad cats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, actually, Nashif did pit, and he's come out in front of King. Yeah. Has Nashif inherited the lead, Ryan, by five seconds under our very eyes? I mean, it looks that way. Because he, he definitely pitted, 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 didn't he? He definitely pitted, yeah. yeah. Bobber's pit coup fucked him, says Lee's rear. Issues there. Ah, okay. So Nashif has the advantage of a quicker pit stop, of course, says Legionary. So he's taken full advantage of that. He will suffer a bit in the rain, potentially, though. So let's see. Nashif with a, uh, well, now down four and a half second lead over King Kodiak, Ryan. Very interesting, this race. Mr. Ritz and Bob right now. Uh, race straight, events is right how many there. laps? It's a timed race tonight, so 45 minutes. So laps don't come into it. It's all about where you are positioned at the end of the 45-minute timer. Uh, but like I said, the Merc pit slowly, just the Renault and Opel pit really. Okay, so some advantages and disadvantages okay. of all the cars here tonight. Another chippy slippers mobile. Frim, Toby's down there. Frim's just still rocking it in the front. Is Frim pit? No, he definitely hasn't pit. He definitely hasn't pit. He's just like coasting it Yeah, he's looking at this. He definitely hasn't pit, right? Yeah. <laughs> He definitely has a little gym update, Ryan, up to 18th currently. And actually having a good battle with Crack now for he was about to, but he just seems like he's falling back a little bit, but not bad. It says another. Yeah, welcome Poe for Life 900. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the season opener, the season 20. We're at Touring Cars, we're at Brands Hatch. We got a lot, a lot of rain, and we're having a lot, a lot of fun, Jamie, aren't we? It's all good fun so far. We are, so, you know, the rain has settled in, Ryan. It's going to ease slightly in a bit, but the rain is here to stay as Chamberlainer finds his way slightly onto grass. McFly up into the top ten there, Ryan. Good race for him so far. Good recovery, actually, because he was uh, a lot further down the pack earlier, wasn't he? In behind Duncan, Ryan, who, again, a very solid racer in recent weeks. Yep, Duncan performing well at the moment in ninth place, which, considering, you know, the cars that are out there tonight is very, very good. Toasty Toad. Uh, is having some serious lag and has ended up retiring from the race. Ah, oh, Toasty Toad, unlucky man. That is not good. Most of here. Uh, but Poe for Life 900. You know, tell us how you found us. How did you get it? What's your story? Are you a sim racer? Um, tell us. Give us your little intro. We love to know about new followers and new people joining the stream. But 33 minutes to go, Jamie, and it's advantage that shift. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Although that gap to King is being cut very rapidly was five seconds coming out of the pits now down to two seconds does is still a couple of seconds behind ryan Theg up there as well now we have to assume it's pit by now but we can't be sure uh, of course in project cars bobba then trails in fifth bobba the big loser in the pits ryan um he's got to go some to make up for that but the bulk of the race still to come well, let's jump back on with backy ryan who finds himself battling with jam splatter and uh, Roughneck Juan, who is yet to get his first airing of season 20. So let's give it to him right now. Yeah, welcome, Ruffers. We do love a good Ruffers. He has literally taken part, no joke, in every single event since we started season one. He has entered all 20 seasons, ladies and gentlemen, and he's still going strong. That's what we like. So much proper new gamers OG. Uh, Poe for Life says, Project Cast 2 page on the Facebook page. Great to have you on board. Good that the word is spreading um, over on the, the, the thing they call the internet. As Jam Splatter tries to go M&M round the outside, uh, but Roughneck just about holds him off, Jamie. This could get hairy if he's in there. Roughneck's learned some tricks, Ryan, in his 20 seasons. He's, he's an old dog these days. You know, he's uh, he's got some tricks up his sleeves for defending them be employing them all now but King Ryan he's clawed that gap down to Nashif he's absolutely on the rampage he summoned his royal army Ryan and he's marched out to lay siege to the lead of Nashif Nashif and he's making a great job of it so far almost right on his tail here and surely Ryan the pass looks inevitable well the only thing I'll say is oh Nashif come on mate I was just about oh, 
Wow. So, I mean, I, I literally couldn't have built that up more. I was going armies. I was going royal military campaigns, Ryan. I had, I had, I had war involved. It was so, and then he just, he just bins it. I mean, for, I mean, uh, <laughs> Nashift, I was just about to say, Nashift is a good racer, he knows how to defend, he'll hold on to that lead for a while yeah. and make him Kodiak yeah, work for it. it, but he's literally just gone, silver platter, I'll butter your toast for you as well, here you go, have it all on a plate, mate. Um, well, that was disappointing. I've given him Lord of the Rings and he's turned it into fucking Coco Melon or something, Ryan, right in front of our eyes. Racing there. That's such a dad reference. <laughs> well, it was only because I was reading about it today because they've become the third channel to go over 100 million subscribers on YouTube. And um, it's literally like some mystery couple from their house and no one really knows who they are that do it. It's absolutely bonkers. Anyway, um, Racing Bet, maybe a renaming for season 21 to so become season one again. I mean, maybe. Maybe we need to just reset. Uh, but, you know, then we'll forget. We'll forget. Uh, the commentator's curse exactly here. Yes. I mean, Nashif's not helped us up there. We've not helped him. But yeah, Toasty Toad, Jamie's always bagging up there. Am I? Am I? He loves it. Every father knows about Coco Melon, is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> they know it exists. <laughs> um, actually, it's been mainly Peppa Pig in my eyes recently. We sort oh. of moved past the Coco Melon phase. So. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. On to racing, because you know that's what we're here for. Uh, very Bryson slow Alpha drift. gets Sorry. the move done on Psycho Lizard as Psycho just, you know, does a Nash shift, just casually moves out of the yeah. way. It was very Alpha. slow, wasn't it? Very slow, and it was almost like a dead on purpose, just slowly drifted wide and then back again. Yeah. Are the Beamers OP in the rain, says Blind Shirt. Well, let's get an answer from our very own uh, New Gamers Mentor, who's live in the chat, Legion Ring, who I'm sure has got many statistical models behind a possible answer. Exactly. Question in the chat though, Stevie D asking, where's Fuse Jamie? How's he getting on in his first race tonight? Fuse Wolf. I sort of want to call him Fuse Wolf, so I'm going to anyway. Uh, he was doing okay in 23rd. He's just drifted a bit wide there. He's lost that place to the the recovering Zerone ride. He's gone from pole position to 23rd in this race ride. Your prediction looks like an absolute shambles right now, mate. Uh, but yeah, 24th for his opening race of his new games career. Which, you know, to be fair, we are a community specifically designed for beginners and intermediate racers. You know, we're not all about winning here. Uh, we're just, you know, welcome to every racer. If you want to get started, perhaps we're the place to be. But we are fortunate to have, um, you know, a good mix of abilities all up and down this group, which gives us plenty of racing action. Shake a stick out, and Dazza looks like he's going to have a turn, Jamie, to try and get past Nash. Yeah, Nashif struggling now. Um, Brian, a little bit in these conditions as Legionary confirms the wetter the track gets, the bigger the advantage to Beamers have. It's pretty damn wet at the moment, right? Yeah. Not the wettest we've ever seen this track, though. We've seen some, like down here, we've seen some. You could, there's a bit of a puddle, isn't there? I'm pretty sure we've seen some races where the puddle stretched across the whole track there. Yeah, we've had uh, full but, on you know, like, rain from start to finish here. Exactly. Exactly. Silly. I think it's the only way to describe it. <laughs> uh, 20, 30, 20, down, now down to 25th, sorry. Uh, Milkshake Kitty, welcome to the stream. Fuse got a lot of fans tonight, Ryan. Yeah, Fuse has Here got a lot of fans. Great to see him bringing on board the Hunters tonight. Perhaps we'll just feature him if we're going to get fans, you know. Just feature him all night long. <laughs> yeah, deal. I think so. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> but anyway, welcome, yeah. Milkshake Kitty. Great to have you here. Great to see so many new names in the chat tonight for what is the opening race of season 20 tonight. And again, you know, tell us where you come from. You hear just as Fuse Wolf said, you don't bloody watch the race. Uh, oh, look but at this, Racing Vet, the new member of the Twitch channel tonight, has decided he loves it so much, he started chatting, and then he thought it's pretty good, so I'll follow. And he's gone, you know what? These boys are doing a good job, so I'm going to subscribe. Thank you very much, Racing Vet. He's got to go now, Ryan. He's, uh, he's got to go to work. Have a lovely day at work. Um, and, uh, yeah, we can only appreciate your support. And we hope that you join us again soon, Ryan. Did so you, you gave him the Discord link, I think, didn't you? Discord link is there. Monday nights and Thursday nights, 8 p.m. ACC Mondays, Project Cast 2 on Thursdays. Yeah, come and get involved. Join us. Um, yeah, have fun. Oh, he's leaving oh. work. 
I'm about to work. leave. I, I love that. So this is this. This is your work, is it? Just watching. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what are you doing, racing that? I'm gonna guess security guard in the little office or something. You know, got the old uh, tablet out or something, just watching Twitch. Dream job. Nick and Massive, though, he's lost that second place to Dazza Brian. But he is clinging onto his coattails. He's got about three and a half seconds to Bobber behind. And then Feg having an absolute storm around. We called him out earlier. Having a fantastic race again up into fifth and looking like he's holding that fifth place with a seven second lead over Mr. Rich in sixth. Great going from Feg right once again. Okay. All systems go on the racetrack tonight, racing there, and obviously your system's in top working order. You've got the ability to just chill out. I mean, which is great. If, you, if you hadn't already subscribed, Ryan, that absolute top quality punish would definitely have convinced him to uh, <laughs> take the plunge. You know, he might even upgrade it to a tier two because of that, Ryan. Yeah. Top broadcasting yet again. Little example there of Ryan's capabilities. Buzzer out though, trying to show us his capabilities, Ryan, in 15th place, but he's pushing hard onto the rear bumps of Bad of Pain, Ryan. Is he going to make this move? Well, Buzzer Wax got it in the locker when he wants it to. He's not quite found the consistency during the league seasons. He's, you know, we have seen him, um, you know, challenge in the top ten before, but you know, he has got that little spurt of speed every now and again, and he could channel that um, little bit of extra speed he can bring to the table sometimes. Catch about a paint. About a paint's no mug, and I think this is the thing, Jamie. You know, wherever you are on the grid tonight, whether you're in the top three, whether you're, you know, mid pack down the bottom. There's always someone to race against. You can always find your level. These two look to be very similarly placed to They do indeed. A good battle here, actually. Yeah, as you say, Ryan. It's pretty dark out there now, isn't it, with the, with the rain clouds? Visibility. We're in cockpit, of course, here with the rain and the, and the, the wipers and the darkness uh, of the clouds. Pretty tough to see, clearly, out there. Good news, though, Ryan, for Nash Shift is he's been passed by Desert, but he's not fallen away like he did with the King. He's actually clinging onto the back of him for several laps and starting even to ease back in and put a little bit of pressure onto uh onto Dazza now right as you say that just drifts off uh half a second uh, further behind that this, so, I mean, this, this is the Nash shift i feel way. like we should never mention Nash shift's name on street ever again just never. <laughs> that's a, it's a good uh yeah good general rule yeah. racing back good dream guys probably the best sub i've used in a while keep oh. it up well thanks very much and toasty yes. toad is feeling the Amor Ryan, which you know, is love, of course. Yeah, Tony, though. Oh. oh, Fuse Wolf going wide, Ryan. Just getting a little bit too much into that corner. Drifted wide, and unfortunately, he's lost another place to Tony, who Tony, who was right up there at the start of this race, but now finds himself back down in 25th position. Ryan just goes to show the weather can make fools of us all. Yes, now, for people who are watching you tonight, every single driver out on the track, assuming they make it to the end of the race, of course, um, does get new gamers championship points. So the top driver um, will get 30 points all the way down to the person who comes last who gets one. So, you know, every single place does genuinely make a difference in this championship. So wherever they are on the track, you know, it's not like the old days, Jamie, where we only used to give points to the top 15. There's incentive to race every single person out there, isn't it? Well, of course, you know, the evolution of the point system at New Gamers has very much tied in with uh, Jimmy's own performances on track. <laughs> you know, it started, it started as top 10. I mean, he never managed to get in the top 10, so he went to top 13. He, that was still a struggle. Then he went to top 15. Happened occasionally, but pretty rarely. Then it ended up, uh, you know, I'll just screw it. Just everyone gets points. Yeah, that's basically fair. Absolutely fair. Absolutely, fair. Absolutely <laughs> yeah. Toby Owen, though, making a cheeky little move on our fan's favourite, Ethan getting the move done on the week. It's going to have a right go back and he just no. shrugs him off and says, get out of here, Toby Owen. Don't be bringing those weak moves in my yard. Wow. Um, Toby Owen ends up in the tyre wall minus oh. the front bumper. Oh, no. Tell you what, Ryan. Hit me, baby, one more time. Jeez. There it is. Track reset. Track reset. I'm a little bit disappointed again. You missed the Britney opportunity for puns there, but that's like yeah, okay. We've got... The thing is, people will notice this back on the highlights and on the stream um, in the week, and everyone will be driving that bloody Britney car next week. <laughs> It'll just be a field of Britney's yeah. next time, yeah. yeah? It could well be, it could well be. Um, Fridge is down here, Ryan. He's got a bit of a, a bit of a crumpled front uh, uh, front bonnet there, but he's just in behind Ocean. Ocean, who um, is another new driver, Ryan, but I think we saw him one-off, one, one off, perhaps, um, as, as these guys are lapped. 
pretty quick driver actually, so again, I think maybe slightly out of position here in 20 seconds. Yeah, Oshin was um, actually made us made the scene of an, an actual real life murder in the previous championship, Jamie, as Nashif just destroyed one of his back wheels in the open wheel. Um, yeah, Oshin got yes. destroyed. Yes, of course, an <laughs> actual live murder, yes, indeed. Indeed, Ben Rahm, that reminds me, Ben Rahm has the book coming. Yeah, maybe he's in full writing. Just going. Um, good battle here, Ryan. Jimmy on the back of Zerone. Who's going to come out top here? Well, on paper, you'd say Zerone, given he qualified first in this race. He's being yeah. held up, though, by someone ahead of him. Ethan, that's um, Ethan yeah, right there as well, also for position. Yeah, exactly, they're racing for position. So he's allowed Jimmy just to catch up, but Ooh. he gives him the old inside outside, left to right, gets it done at the inside. Now Jimmy's going to have a little turn. He's, he's obviously seen that move from Tarot and gone, yeah. yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. So he's going to have yeah. a go here, I reckon. I can but feel if Jim tries the old switch back, he'll he'll just end up <laughs> binning it or something. He'll switch back too far and just bin it. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know he watches the stream, Jim. I was only joking. I was only, I was only joking, mate. I didn't really want you to do that. What did Brian, we need the toasty toad to? I'm curious. Uh, I think the Brit my, my Britney hit me maybe one more time. Joke. Ah. Um, Bobber, though, Ryan, here he is. He has now caught up with Nash if he's dropped a few seconds as we mentioned and now this battle for the final podium position is on with 19 minutes to go bobber looks like he wants it right king cody you have to say driving an unbelievable race right been so consistent claimed the lead early doors um he's held it ever since through the pit stop phase and he's marshalling and monitoring that gap very well to daz of around four seconds four to five seconds up and down so um really strong race from the king so far yeah driving excellently you know 138 only bobber's getting anywhere close to that time you look at those last lap times dazza in the 139s but not quite the speeds that king kodia is able to pass it up this evening but bobber is doing all his best he can here jamie he's fighting hard with nashus for that final podium position nashus laps you know consistently 140s uh, whereas bobber's been catching him as you said so he should have an opportunity to try and make a pass but hopefully third time lucky nashus can put up <laughs> I think his car choice is, is going back to haunting him. Haunt him in these particular conditions, Ryan, but he's going to give it a good go. He's got a back marker there in front of him to mix things up, which I know you're a big fan of. Um, when back markers get involved in his battles, he's going to be Yeah, I was thinking, are you sure about that, Bobber? But he's gone for it, Ryan. He's just about got away with it. That was as close as you could get to. Um, causing a little bit of carnage there. He cut that very, very fine to get around that corner the way he did. Do you feel like this is an inevitable pass, right? Um, I would, I'd love to say no, but on Nashif's current form tonight, I'm going to have to say yes. When he's there, he's there. <laughs> yeah. He's not in a terrible race. Not in a terrible race. Yes. Um, plenty of other battles, Ryan. Let's have a look at one we've not seen before. Duncan... Pushing onto the back of Mr. Rich for that sixth place currently. Mr. Rich just slightly wobbly in front of us there, Ryan. How are you calling this one? Yeah, talk to me about Mr. Rich, Jamie. I think he's really shone mm. over those last few weeks and seasons, hasn't he? He's done really he has. well, consistently high, got himself. I think he came third in the previous championship, um, which was yeah. as well. So, you know, he's certainly, as a, he's a relatively newer race. He's been with us a couple of months now. Um, and, you know, he's very consistently fast, regardless of the car, he seems to be up there regardless, you know, just on the top ten. Yep. Um, and I wonder, will his time come, Jake, to start tapping on the door of podium positions over the next few weeks? Yeah, I, th I think you're yeah, it's a spot on observation of, of him, Ryan. He's definitely developing, getting used to league racing, I think, a bit more. Definitely got the pace. Maybe seems just off the absolute pace of some of the guys at the top, but very consistent at the same time, although, as I say that, he runs slightly wider than his place, of course, you know, but overall, right, I would definitely say he's, um, he's, he's, he's in the, in the mould of a Shipston style driver, I think, but just not quite as quick so far. And often misjudges petrol. No, I mean, once. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was, ter it was embarrassing, to put it was absolutely embarrassing. Those of you should we have a quick should first, we have a quick yeah first ever first ever <laughs> race for mr rich joined the community really excited for his first race he's in a stonking position 
towards the end of his first race, um, and halfway through the last lap, he ran out of fuel. Okay. <laughs> literally just stopped. On literally the track. just stopped on his track. That's the only time we've ever seen that, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Mr. Rich, though, racing well, he's not letting go of that position from Duncan. He's going to make him work for it. Despite making that mistake and letting Duncan through, um, he's going to do everything he can just to hold on, really try and push sixth place again. Stevie D, though, Jamie, desperate for a few seconds. Yeah, I mean, we can have a quick look, but I mean, the problem, Steve, that we've got is uh, always with every race we do is. We have to obviously focus where the action is, where the battles are. So here's Fuse, but unfortunately he's, he's having a bit of a lonely race at the moment. He's not got much going on. So we'll have a quick look at him, but he's sat down in 25th, no battles to speak of. Um, this is the issue, right, isn't it? We've got to go where the, go where the action is, and the action currently is with Ethan and Ruffney. And it's a good job it's with Ethan, because Yaga World drops as a cheeky follow and just says, no problem here for my boy Ethan. And here he is, he's in 19th place at the moment. And he's in a battle, as Jamie said, with Fridge, who's just in behind him, and Roughnick won just ahead of him. So Ethan looking forwards and backwards for position at the moment to make sure he maintains his current position whilst trying to push as hard as he can to capture Roughnick 1. But Fridge is a coming, Jamie. Yeah, this is shaping up to be a good battle, actually. Jimmy not too far behind as well, so maybe if these guys are fighting, he'll have the opportunity if they're slowed down to the core and join in with the action toasty toad suggesting there's some plants in the audience <laughs> oh no oh, oh, bridge that's not what you want to do oh, oh, oh yago out. world won't be happy with that uh, at oh, all oh, oh i was just gonna say i was just gonna say i bet jimmy's got a run on him here because he was not far behind and of course jimmy fell, followed him straight into the grass so there we go but yeah anyway, very aggressive He's going to pull it back. I've got a few. Got a few. Um, has Jimmy not binned it yet? I mean, yeah. I mean, he literally just saw it on the ground. <laughs> and now he's actually lost a place to Tony, right? And Roughneck. Oh, and he's about to lose one to Roughneck. Yeah. <laughs> Let's so get he's on. Let's a great get race. For anyone who is new, because there are new people here, Jimmy is top dog in the Discord. You know, he's the main man behind most of the stuff we do here. Um, so we just like ribbing him, really, because he set this whole community up because he wasn't good enough to go and join other communities. We, he got told, you know, you're not quick enough, you're not welcome here. So, you know, he wrote in me and Jamie to help him set up this community um, so he could find people he could beat. Still never won a race, always mid-pack, you know, just still can't never won a race. Can't even beat me and you, Roy, can't, can't even beat us. So, yeah. he set this whole community with nearly a thousand people in so we could actually, you know, race with people and try and win races. What was it, two and a half years old, Jamie? Still <laughs> You know, the good thing is that we know he likes to listen to the stream whilst he's yeah, racing, so this, this would definitely be bigging him up, you know, giving him that confidence, right, <laughs> that motivation to, you know, from his best mates to, to get him going, absolutely yeah. no problem. No problemo, Buzzer Wax got a problem though, Ryan, and the name of that problem is Bad of Pain. Bad of Pain, what a pain in the, oh. you know, oh. as Buzzer Wax really does want to try and get past it though. We've seen these two battle it before previously in this race. It's 12 minutes to go. Buzzerwack is thinking, come on, buddy. Do a national, do a gym, just get out of the way, let me pass, get me through. But at the moment, Badapain's holding off. And Omasaur, who did qualify inside the top 10, is slowly catching this battle as well, Jamie, down in 16th place. So it'll be interesting. Mm. We could have a cheeky three-way in that continues. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Men drama, yeah, summing up, <laughs> summing up that story beautifully. He's created a community that's much bigger uh, and more active than most out there, purely based off that one test race. It was, I remember that actually that night he was doing it. That's he was, it was a very odd league he was trying to join, wasn't yeah. it? I think it was probably he was aiming at the wrong sort of league to be trying to join. It. He'd literally just bought a G29 wheel, like on sale or something, and, and we just plugged it in and we're straight in. It's probably not the one to go for. But it's worked out in the end, right? Try joining a league with a shape game, where they basically drive around behind you, watch you race, and if they deem you worthy of it, they let you in. I mean, that in itself is absolutely right, pathetic. 
just just want to get that in there. Like, it's a game, lads. Let anyone race. Come on. Um, so what he did was he was thinking, okay, well I'm not going to join these losers because they won't let me race. I'm going to go and set up my own. Well, that's a really fun race. To be fair, we've now got a bigger community with them, which is just quite sums up the point of Commonwealth. It's racing, sim racing, all over to have fun. Um, and we're still having fun two years later. Yeah, it was so formal. That drama is hilarious. Like people, do, you know, people obviously take this very seriously sometimes, and that's absolutely fine. It depends on your hobby, but you know, I think the majority are probably not that serious. But the one they ended up trying to join, I don't know why, how they got to that one, but it was super formal. They got like an official like rejection letter, I think, or something, <laughs> explaining the reasons why, and all of this. Yeah, crazy stuff. It reminds me. Um, do you know what future armor like? Uh, yeah. Um, the classic one where the uh, bender gets kicked out of the casino and he's like, fine, I'll go make my own casino with blackjack and hookers. <laughs> yeah. It's basically the equivalent of that. Yeah, basically. Uh, someone on the race stream going on Mondays was saying there's a group called the Pit Crew who make you do three trial races that assign you a division based on their estimation. And that's where, for me, I just lose interest. Like, get a life, go out, get laid, come back when you're a real that's I mean, I this was say. even worse than that, Ben oh. <laughs> There wasn't even a division for you to join if you weren't quick enough. It was just you were not joining. Yeah, see you later. Oh, anyway, that, that's, where, that's when gaming isn't fun. Just to get in the seat. Anyway, Roughneck won, 22nd place. Hunting Jam Splatter Day League. Oh. 21st place. Um, and Roughness, you know, he's been pretty consistent around the sort of 20, 21st, 22nd places tonight. Uh, just ahead of them um, is the famous Jimmy H. Official as well in his oh, Wolfie's Mobile. And we've got a cheeky three-way battle here for position. We do indeed, Ryan. Yeah, here we go. Jimmy, very much the cork in the bottle here, I feel, Ryan. <laughs> uh, um, when's he going to back? That's the only question. <laughs> oh, God. This could end in tears, ladies and gentlemen. We've got four cars <laughs> all bearing behind Jimmy, just waiting to see what he's going to do. Is he going to hold them up? Is he going to make them race? Who knows? It's Jimmy H. Official. Yeah, Jimmy's very tense. This is the problem. As Jamie, as Jamie said, you know, he is sort of like bunching them up a little bit behind him, isn't he? I mean, you know, not race for a few months, Jim, to be fair, is his first race back there. Um, and it's pretty tricky with this. But yeah, absolutely. Jam's there, right? Another one I would say is probably out of position here, given the pace we've seen from him in previous seasons. No, I agree. Yeah, Jam's there. And I think this is why we were really looking of the touring car seasons because you know, it almost puts everyone on like an equal playing field because they're cars that most people are used to. Obviously we picked some tracks for this season that again most people know well. So you know there's less concern about getting to grips with the car compared to previous seasons which means you know everyone can just get their foot in and have a race. Absolutely, absolutely. Just a quick check at the top, Ryan. Um, King stretched that lead over Dazen out to eight seconds almost. Unbelievable scenes. And then a huge, another 10 seconds back to Nashift in third. Who is still holding on to that third though, Ryan? We did think Bobber might be um, through by now, but he's not unable to make the move down. So Nashift defending very well. Yes, yeah. I mean, we gave Nashift a lot of stick earlier, actually, for letting him pass. We did hope it was going to be third time back in Nashift that you can hold on to it but you know it is a very much important podium position on the line for Nash and he's got just under eight minutes to go Jamie uh, you know the Brittany mobile of Bobber is going to do everything it can to get past but Nash will do well here if he can hold on to that position indeed he's very very close but he is holding on currently although he may have an issue here as Mr. Brisket. Brisket Bear, Ryan, long time no see, rejoins us in the chat. That's lads, lads, lads. And Mr. Brisket will absolutely remember Chippy Slippers on his car from back in the day. Uh, but yeah, Mr. Brisket, how are you, my friend? How's your streaming going? Uh, you obviously played some Gran Turismo uh, GT Sport that I come to buy again. Um, and yeah, what have you been up to? Give us a little low day. Um, and maybe, you see us every time you yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, oh, but just so close, Ryan, but just unable to make that move stick on Nashiv there. Really pushing hard now, but Nashiv, to be fair, keeping his cool, right? Yeah, Nashiv using his experience has built up over the last sort of 12 months to the game. Uh, you know, he's a seasoned racer with us, done a lot of championships, placed highly in his great 
championships on the whole. Obviously has the old, uh, you know, crazy moment, but he just knows where to put his car, doesn't he, Jim? Just closing all those angles, closing all the gaps, making this really hard work for Bob. And of course, both of them, of course, though, will be uh, potentially shredding a little bit of rubber that perhaps they would like to. Um, so the remaining six minutes could get a little bit tasty. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, super close. And here comes Bobber again, right? Nashift got no problem really when he could keep his car on the track, right? It's uh, it's the little spins that cost Nashift over the course of the season, isn't it? Um, oh, that puddle! And we, oh, we mentioned it earlier. That puddle is now stretching all the way across the track, just about, and it caught them out a little bit there, Ryan. Uh, Nashift getting a bit lucky, and Bob are uh, having to having nowhere to go there. But this puddle is so so close, um, Mr. Prisket. I have moved out of my mum and dad's house, and I'm looking for nowhere to set up my wheel. Also, this reminds me of the battle I had with Sin in the drawing cars when Bob was guest commentator. Bloody, when was that? That was a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, we've Jeez. had some great battles with Brad Tuck there, but just quickly before we just get off the Nash too much, you know, every single corner there is using the weather to his advantage. He knows where the tricky bits are. He's just positioning his car in the right place <laughs> every single time. Yeah, look, I mean, look at this. Already. It couldn't be closer. Let's get right on bumper cam. And this, I mean, this is how close it is. Well, for it. We can't go on bumper cam because he's going around the outside. Now, Jim surely will be able to claw that one back, Ryan. He's going to have a little bit more grip there, you'd think. But Bobber hung it out the outside. So, to be fair, brave from Bobber. He kept his foot in. But again, Nash, if using the, the, the track, his track knowledge, knowing which corners are coming up, where, up next to just about live another day. Five more minutes of this, Ryan. Surely Nash can't keep this up like a game of Chester. Bob has spied, has spied a little bit of an entry. Nashift has opened the door down the inside when perhaps Ooh. he didn't want to. He's gone um, wide. He's finally given him the gap. He's been positioning his car so well for the last few. Um, the last few, but Bob just saw the opportunity and was like a rat up a drain pipe, Jamie, and got in there when he could. Absolutely, Ben Rama. Absolute pleasure. My friend, thanks for joining us. Hopefully see you again soon. Enjoy your tea. I don't know whether he means food related tea or like a cup of tea, Ryan. Guesses? Uh, I'm guessing it's proper food. Okay, yeah. Uh, Nash, if though, Ryan does finally concede that position. Now it's his turn to try and attack Bobber. Bobber did look a little bit quicker, didn't he, for those two seconds? Uh, but now he's got a bit of toe. Bobber's going to feel the pressure a little bit now. So with perhaps the tide could turn in the favour of Nash. If. We'll have to see how that does but the light rain um, you know still coming down um, and making things a little bit difficult and fridge just popping his anchor in the sand there jamie and uh, <laughs> the lovely uh, get his bucket stay down ryan if there's one place you don't want to drop your anchor it's in the sand yeah. ryan uh, especially when you're racing yeah absolutely great patience and move by Bob says he's really absolutely great battle from the both of them you have to say brilliant driving it was a very i mean i, I think what it came down to bob has squeezed just here actually just on the right just up the inside and Nash have got a little bit spooked by it and just went slightly too far to the left making sure he was giving him space which is very nice to do probably could have squeezed Bobba just slightly more which may have uh, stopped him getting the run there and getting the, the pass done but again super fine margins right super fine margins indeed but to be fair to Nash he's not letting him go here he's holding no, on to his coattails and I'm sure he's going to do everything he can gain that position back and Jamie it's another new follower as Finney underscore Formula One gives us his seal of approval by dropping a follow on us tonight great to have you on board my friend great to have you watching the stream and as ever where have you come from give us your story we love hearing how people found us and you know, what they're up to so yeah great to have you here so Jamie Oshin mm. versus Jam Splatter talk to you. Yeah, good battle. Both drivers that have definitely um, got the speed beyond 21st and 22nd position where they currently sit. So, you know, you'd say probably from the little we've seen of Ocean so far, a similar maybe pace level to, to Jam Spatter in uh, in their best forms. So a good battle here, Ryan, 20th and 21st. And I'm just ahead there. We've also got the blue car of Ethan, Ryan. Oh, there's Jam Spatter runs wide! And wow, I had a hiccup at the same time there. <laughs> that was dramatic tension. And uh, yes, a mistake from Jan Splatter there in that puddle. Now that puddle, right, is starting to get a little bit dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, people have taken very wide berths on that puddle uh, going into that corner because it could be a 
good spell disaster, especially with Grim probably at a bit of a premium with less than two minutes to go now of this 45 minute race at Finney Formula. We don't even need to tie the act because our legion of a fan, see what I did there? Legionary drops in the answer as well as the answer. Yes, of course, we race on PC. And if you want to catch up with everything we do, you can join our Discord and join nearly 1,000 like-minded sim racing enthusiasts um, and have a great old time. Um, but Buzzawak versus Primo again. Battle for the ages. <laughs> Battle for 15th, I can guarantee you that, Ryan. Um, quick update as well. Nash is still very close to Bobber, but has picked up a two-second penalty, Nash, so it will make it difficult, even if he does get the move done with less than a minute to go for him to take that third place. So looking like a king, Daza, Bobber, podium. What a podium that is, Ryan, for the first race. And king will be absolutely buzzing to start the season with a victory. He's driven fantastic. He has. And, you know, for new people watching tonight, we do interview the top three drivers after the race is done we'll be head back to the new gamer studio um, so you know stay tuned for that and of course at the end of the night we crown our driver of the day jamie will pick who he thinks deserves the prize at the end of the night for an exceptional evening out on the track it could be the person who wins but it could just be someone random who's put in a really good show tonight and jamie speaking of people who's put in a really good show tonight and with 15 seconds to go i'm going to mention him for the first time tonight Took in ninth place yeah solid race and crying as well those two always magnetically glued on track together yes. aren't they <laughs> oh literally always for 20 seasons now basically um ninth and tenth good showing for both of those psycho up to 13th to Rhone. actually up to 12th Ryan. you have to say actually pretty good recovery considering he was he went from pole to 26 back to 12. so um certainly an eventful race you'd say but there we go Ryan. there it is as the sun starts to come out <laughs> to crown our new king, Mr. Kodiak crosses the line to take the victory. Okay. Finney Formula says, you seem to have a good channel. I'm going to keep watching. Well, I appreciate it, Finney Formula. Great to have you on board. Um, as we head for our first showing of a 1,000 followers on Twitch, I'm going to try and do our best. It's great to have so many people. My mobile we're up to 931 now, so we can do it, people. We can get to 1,000. Come on, that's our next goal for the Twitch channel but the racing is over but don't go away yet because we are going to be heading back to the comfort and the warmth of the new gamers VIP bar you can grab yourself a drink um, chill out and we'll talk to three of the top three racers and we will then crown our driver of the day tonight but it is King Cody at Daza and Boba top of the pile Jamie and based on what we've seen they probably deserve it yeah, absolutely. Fantastic drive from all three of them. Bobber definitely having to work harder there to come back from uh, uh, pit stop issues, I believe. But he does get that podium. And, I mean, bloody hell, King, Dazza, Bobber, Nashift, all of them, you know, everyone up there. What a season we've got in store for us, race. Right. Oh, this is race one of four, of course. So, so good. Race one of four did not disappoint. Not the carnage we were expecting, to be fair. No carnage. So very good racing. But the first race of our 20th league season finishes like this, ladies and gentlemen. We've got King Kodiak, Dazza and Bobba making your top three. Behind them, we've got Nashift, Theg, Duncan, Mr. Rich, Chambernator, Crichton Alpha and Took, ladies and gentlemen, making up the top ten. So Crichton just picked Took to that final position inside the top ten, which is quite interesting. Um, Flying 11th oh, to yeah. Rick 12th. Cycle is a 30 with Frimo 40. We got Buzzawak, Omasaur, Badapane, Tony, Jam Splatter, and Ethan rounding off your top 20. Further down than that, we got our own Jimmy H. Official. We did have a one second penalty in 21st with Fridge 22nd, Fuse Volv 23rd, Ocean 24th, Roughnet 125th, Roki Blokey 26th. And we lost four drivers throughout the night for a variety of connection and all sorts of issues. But all we do know is. Um, we got King Kodiak, we got Dazza, and we got Bobba as we head back to the new Gamers VIP bar. Let's do this. Oh, so welcome to the warmth and comfort of the new Gamers VIP bar, ladies and gentlemen. Call yourself over a waiter or waitress and say, Oi, get me a bloody drink right now. Jamie, what are you drinking? Yeah, I mean, you've got what looks like you've got a couple of whiskeys on the bar there, Rose. Right? I'll just have one of them. Yeah, just no one problem, of them. Yeah, mate. No problem. Get yourself sorted. Call. 
call over one of our expertly trained um, you know, waiters um, to sort you out. But anyway, I don't really welcome. see that amazing well, iPads now, isn't it? Just, uh... Yeah, yeah, it's fair, it's fair. Um, so, race one, season 20, all done and dusted. It's time to speak to our victors this evening. Um, first up, Jamie Bobber. Get him in here right now and let's speak um... to him after he's made himself a very good start to the championship season by grabbing himself a third place overall tonight. Bubba, are you there? Oh, all right, lads, all right. All right, big up, lads. Is he Is he in the Discord, Jamie? No, he's let you down again, oh, mate. Oh, Bubba, he's let me down. Anyway, let's move on to Dazza then. I know Dazza will be there. He's a man who That's never him. lets us down, right? <laughs> yeah, here he comes. Good. Dazza will be joining us live into the new yeah. Gamers VIP bar. Dazza, huh? second place. First race, season 20. Are we giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Oh, that's a thumbs up. Big However, thumbs up from Dazza, yeah. I mean... However... Oh, okay, go on. I think it was a little bit ruined by the inclusion of the rain, I have to say. That, that was a much tighter race to start with, and the rain kind of spread it about a little. Okay, yeah, I mean, fair enough. Fair enough, um... Valid opinion, Ryan, of course, but he talk us through that race with King, though, Dazza. Do you think there was a chance you could have caught him at the end there? No. He came out the pits and it was like, yeah. I, I don't know, I just sort of couldn't find the rhythm. He seemed to get a really good rhythm. I couldn't find it. It took me about four or five laps. And mm. no, nah, that was it. He was, I had no more. He was, he was a real start and he's really found his groove to that, didn't he? Yeah, he certainly did. Now, obviously, this is only the first race of the championship, Dazza. You've got three more to go. Hey. You know, high yeah. hopes for the rest of the championship, are we thinking? Yeah, yeah. I think there's going to be some good battles up and down the grid. I think it's going to be brilliant. I'm looking forward to it. You boys? Yeah, absolutely. It's looking so competitive, isn't it? I mean, the yeah. top three in quality were less than like a tenth, like, were like half a tenth between you. Absolutely well, yeah, crazy. And there was less than a second. I think it was three quarters of a second for the top 12. Yeah. You know, top 12 in less than a second. Yeah. That's brilliant. It is, yeah, absolutely, mate. Yeah, we can't wait. We can't wait. So well done tonight. Yeah, Solid cheers. second. Yeah. You're on your way, mate. I'm getting there. We're starting. Well done, yeah. King. You deserve that one, mate. Yes, <laughs> yes, Dazza. Appreciate that. All right, Dazza. Have a good evening. Cheers, mate. So there it is. Dazza, second place tonight. And we know the next person to join us live into the studio. He'll be pretty happy, I believe, with his night's work. King Kodiak. Will be joining us very shortly into the new gamers VIP bar after taking top of the class, full marks, A plus, King Kodiak. You must be absolutely loving it. You are absolutely right. I am ecstatic with that. <laughs> uh, I love that uh, scrap that I had with Boba and Dazza in the dry. Uh, that was intense. Boba really had the pace on me uh, in the dry, and then the rain fell much earlier than I was expecting. Um, Got a little bit held up in the pits, caught Nash. Well, Nash fell off the road a little more accurately, and then I just, <laughs> I just then wandered off into the dis. I, a couple of times, I, I thought to myself, just stay focused, stay focused, and then I would fall off the road. So, um, uh, but yeah, I, I love the BMW, always have, and I'm very glad that I've got a win in her. Yeah, I mean, you could, couldn't have started the season any better, King. I mean. The qualifying was so intense, so close that you all were. But then we went into the race, and like you said, in the dry, it was absolutely crazy. In the wet, though, when you came, when you all came out of the pits and everything settled down, you just seemed to get into your groove maybe a bit quicker, and you were a bit more comfortable than than your rivals up there. What, what do you think the reason for that is? Well, simply put, practice. Um, I absolutely love you know the the way that the car slides, and exactly as you say, just got into the rhythm um at the back markers were very very well behaved i did very much worry when i was catching four of them at once and then i don't really know what they did uh they just kind of imploded um so i was then able to to worm my way past them i kept looking at the t delta between me and dazza and it was always about the same but uh, i've just like i said i've just practiced sliding around with the bmw i run it in loose in the wet which is usually a disastrous combination but yeah, uh, simple as that, really. Fair. Well, we've done rain. We've got dry weather to come. We've got snow to come, King Kodiak. You know, a whole variety of different weathers for the touring car season. How are you feeling confidence-wise that you can cope with everything that's thrown at you and maintain your place at the top of the leaderboard beyond this race? 
that's going to be hard for i mean bobber is is just so fast in the dry particularly well dazza is as well and you know can't rule out Zerone because that quali lap it took me slipstream to beat his quali lap i, I mm-hmm. think i think he bogged down at the start i i, I was, to be honest i was more paying attention in not flying off into the dust um but yeah it's going to be hard it's going to be really really difficult but yeah i'm game i'm ready well, what a season we've got in store. Potentially, I mean, Ryan said it before the race, but I think it's even truer now. Potentially one of the best seasons in Noon Gamers history here. Just so competitive, the field, King. So what a way to start. Congratulations. Have an excellent week. And we'll see you next time thank for, you very uh, much. to do it all again. Yeah, thank you very much, gentlemen, for allowing me in the hallowed gowns once again. No worries. Thank you much, King. Kodiak. Um, so we didn't quite get the chance to speak to all three of our top three podium setters. Night. Um, but we heard from Daza and we heard from King Kodiak, who were very happy chappies. So let's go deep down and dirty to the Noob Gamers Disco, where Jamie will, cl- will cl- I can't get words out, will crown a second King of the Evening as he picks his driver of the day. Let's go, people. Money out of time, every day goes by so fast. Oh, sorry, just saying hello to all these fans behind me. Can't get enough. Anyway, new gamers discos pop a lock in as ever, Jamie. The fans cannot believe their luck at the sight of the what they saw on the track tonight. We had dry weather, we had wet weather, we had some fantastic overtakes, some fantastic battles, and we are set for what I believe, and I'll say it again, one of the best new gamer seasons. That's a big shout, but it's hard to argue with that logic, right? I mean, given what a great first race we've had, given the tracks coming up that we love, given the crazy weather conditions that are being thrown in, I think I think you even mentioned snow. Then, didn't you, right? Yeah, we've got snow scenes, and just the, but more than anything, the competitiveness across the whole field is, you know, just absolutely crazy and brilliant to see. Drive the day is a tough one tonight, as you can imagine, Brian. Um, I mean, who would you go for? Just out of interest. <laughs> Don't come to I'm me. Not... I mean, you know, it's your, it's your thing, Jamie. You know, it's your I've decided. Thing. I I've do already decided. I'm just, I'm just interested to see, you know, you'd go for. I really, do you want to say? I really couldn't pick, if I'm honest. Okay. Really this, is the, this is the trouble. I mean, yeah. we, we, we tend to stray away from picking the winner all the time just because it, it's the, you know, it, it's the obvious one. But you can't deny King an unbelievably good drive tonight. Um, Dazza as well, very solid, consistent. Nashift had an excellent drive. Theg up in fifth, fantastic performance. But I'm going to give it to Boba, Ryan. I'm going to go for to Boba. And, you know, so he, he finished third. He had excellent pace in the drive, had some issues with the pits, dropped a few places. But that battle with Nash, it was just so brilliant to watch Ryan. And he, he was patient, he was calculated, he didn't push it, didn't rush it, didn't make a mistake, didn't, you know, um, damage Nashift at all. Got the move done, took that podium. Um, in fantastic and very impressive style run. So I'm going to go for Bobber. Well, there we go then, ladies and gentlemen. Driver of the day tonight is your very own Bobber, who secured himself an excellent third place tonight. As Jamie said, had some fantastic battles throughout. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Your Thursday night entertainment comes down to a close. But what entertainment it has been all night long. We kicked off season 20 in style. Great battles, great weather, and a great season ahead. And also, Jamie, it has to be said, fantastic turnout on the Twitch channel tonight. So big up to everyone watching at home. Whether you chatted, sat back and watched, subscribed, or followed, however you got involved with our channel tonight, we really genuinely appreciate your support. And Jamie, of course, I appreciate your support with me here again tonight. I very much enjoyed that. Um, And of course, we'll be back sooner than normal from now on Ryan not we don't have to wait a whole week anymore no exactly Monday night we're going to have our second race of our brand new ACC league coming at you 8 p.m is the time new gamers is the place so every Monday and Thursday now you can see my horrendous face on your screen talking absolute rubbish with my friend Jamie about racing I mean Jamie what more do they bloody want yeah uh, what Toasty Toad wants us to hit us, baby, one more time. Shall I get some? I mean, pr- 
perhaps I'll get some Britney ready for next week because, you know, we've got all the Britneys going out. But anyway, okay. let's uh, go and party on for the rest of the night. It's been a fantastic evening. Well done to all our racers. Again, thank you to everyone at home. Jamie, thanks for joining me. Thanks, mate. Have a good one. I will, my friend. So have a great weekend, everyone. We'll see you Monday night, 8 p.m. ACC. It's going to be a good one. Enjoy yourselves. Oh, keep safe, yeah? Keep safe. <laughs> One nerd. like a takeout.